Unveiling the hidden depths of China's economic crisis, Xi Jinping takes desperate measures. Introduction In the face of mounting economic challenges, Chinese President Xi Jinping has taken the unprecedented step of personally chairing a meeting of the Central Committee for Deepening Reform. This move has sent shockwaves through China and beyond, sparking speculation about the severity of the crisis and the desperation of the regime. Economic woes deepen, Xi takes charge. China's the economy has been plagued by a series of setbacks in recent years, including a sharp decline in the property market, a slowdown in exports, and rising unemployment. Despite government efforts to stimulate growth, the economy has continued to falter. In a bid to address the crisis, she has decided to host the meeting in person with the Central Committee for Deepening Reform, a high-level body that oversees economic policy. This is a significant departure from past the practice, where she has largely delegated economic matters to primarily Kikian. Empty rhetoric, desperate measures. The meeting itself was marked by a series of empty platitudes and vague promises. She called for scientific planning of further reforms and vowed to focus on system and mechanism obstacles hindering China's modernization. However, he offered no concrete solutions to the country's economic woes. Instead, the meeting appears to have been a desperate attempt to to shift blame and rally support. She accused lower-level officials of failing to implement his policies effectively and called for a renewed crackdown on corruption. Nursing new leaks, she's predatory approach. Expert believes that the meeting was essentially an attempt by the CCP to identify new sources of revenue. He compared the regime's approach to that of a farmer repeatedly harvesting Chinese chives, a type of vegetable that can be cut back and regrow multiple times. According to the expert, the CCP is looking for new ways to squeeze money out of businesses and individuals, even if it means resorting to predatory practices. This could include further crackdowns on the private sector, increased taxation, or even outright confiscation of assets. Historical parallels and ominous signs. Expert draws parallels between the CCP's current behavior and the actions of the Ming Dynasty. Emperor Zhu Yuanzhang, who famously confiscated the wealth of the wealthy merchants in Huanzhen. He warns that the CCP may be preparing to do the same to wealthy individuals and corporations in order to shore up its finances. The root cause CCP is authoritarian grip. Despite the regime's desperate attempts to find scapegoats and quick fixes, expert believes that the root cause of China's economic problems lies in the CCP's authoritarian nature. He argues that the CCP is monopolized on power stifles innovation, discourages entrepreneurship, and prevents the free flow of capital and ideas. Until the CCP is removed from power, he believes China's economy will continue to decline. Conclusion Xi Jinping's decision to host the meeting in person the Central Committee for Deepening Reform is a clear sign that the CCP is facing a severe economic crisis. The regime's empty rhetoric and desperate measures are unlikely to solve the underlying problem and may even make them worse. The only way to truly address China's economic woes is to dismantle the CCP's authoritarian rule and establish a democratic, free market system. Until that happens, China's economy will continue to decline and the country will face an uncertain future. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.